Hey everyone, it's Friday. I've done work and I'm going to do a video tomorrow on that cashew based creamer, coffee creamer that I talked about in my last video. But I realized that the prep has to be done tonight. So I'm just going to show you that really quick. And then the next time you will see me, it will be tomorrow and hopefully I look more refreshed in this. The first thing you need is a cup of raw cashews, not roasted raw which i buy in bulk at bulk barn um, that's the cheapest place that i find to buy them costco also sells a bag full which are really good price and they're the whole ones sometimes the ones at the bulk barn are split but it doesn't make any difference as long as they're raw they will do for this so what you need is just a container i prefer a glass one but i don't think it really matters and you're going to want to put in one cup, I apologize if that's really loud for you, one cup of raw cashews in your container. And then fill it up with water. As these soak overnight, they're going to swell up and you want them to be fully submersed. Then just put a lid on them and let them sit overnight. That's going to be the base of our cashew creamer. If you have a Vitamix blender like I do, you could technically skip the soaking or just soak for an hour or two. But in my experience, soaking them overnight makes them super soft and creamy and will make your creamer um, not have any grit and be really smooth and creamy by definition. So it's really worth it. And that's all you have to do. You just soak a cup of raw cashews overnight so that the next day they're ready to blend and to make into the creamer. That's the only prep. Super easy. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, good morning. I'm desperate for a cup of coffee, but I'm out of coffee creamer and I am going to make some this morning. And many of you asked for the recipe, so I thought I might as well just film it. <laughs> so I could have my coffee because I am not fully human until I have my first cup of coffee. So here are the ingredients that you're going to need. So obviously we soaked our cashews last night so they're nice and soft and ready to go. You are also going to need some molasses, whatever kind you have on hand, fancy molasses because I'm fancy, some brown sugar, some plant-based milk. Um, I'm going to use cashew because that's what I have open, um, but I could also use and often do this Earth's Own Oat Milk, the unsweetened vanilla. Whatever milk you use, it should really be unsweetened. Unless you have all you have is sweetened, then use that because really no big deal. This is supposed to be easy. You're gonna need some ginger, you're gonna need some nutmeg, gonna need a little bit of cloves, some cinnamon, vanilla. I know that's artificial, but the real stuff was out. A little bit of salt and you're going to need a nut milk bag. I'll explain why later. A blender of some sort. Now I have a Vitamix. It's expensive but I use it a lot. It was my birthday slash Christmas present to myself one year. Um, but because I use this you know the soaked cashews as a base for all my cream sauces like um, Alfredo sauce or anything like that. A high speed blender is really useful, but you don't need one for this recipe. You can just use your regular blender and that's where the nut milk bag will come in. Um, something to, to sort of strain your creamer into. This uh, two cup, oh sorry, four cup actually works really well because the nut milk bag fits over the top of that. So that's all the ingredients you're going to need to make the recipe. So let's get started. All right. So this is, like I said, a really super easy recipe and it's delicious. I like a flavored creamer in my coffee. And for everyone who chooses not to eat dairy, can't eat dairy, is just trying to reduce their saturated fat. So is cutting out dairy. This is an awesome coffee creamer. Now, if all you did was blend the soaked cashews with your non-dairy milk, and just used it like that for a heavy, heavy cream or a coffee cream for your coffee. If you don't like a flavored coffee creamer, this will still work really well. But I like to have a flavored coffee creamer 
and there's nothing like the flavor of gingerbread, especially when it's cold outside. So here's what we're going to do to get started. The first thing I want you to do is to take your soaked cashews and just drain them and then just rinse them. Right, just to get that soaking water off of them. There. Now, everything is just going to go into the, the cup of your blender. So cashews. And then we're going to put in one and a half cups of any non-dairy milk. Again, like I said, I'm using unsweetened cashew milk because that's what I have open, but I've made it with oat milk. I've made it with almond milk. I've made it with uh, soy milk. It's really good with oat milk because oat milk tends to be creamier, but the cashew milk works really well as well. So a cup and a half of your milk. Now you want a third of a cup of molasses. If you're like me and you really hate when you're measuring out molasses because it will not come out of the cup, here's a little trick. You don't have to do this, but I do it because I'm lazy and like things easy. I just give the inside of my measuring cup a quick spray with non with uh, cooking, nonstick cooking spray. <laughs> and then I put the, the molasses in that and it doesn't stick when it comes out or at least it sticks a lot less. See how well that worked? Like it still sticks a tiny bit, but barely. And you actually get out what you measured, which is awesome. The next thing you want is a quarter cup of brown sugar. Now, if you don't like your coffee creamer sweetened, you can leave this out. I think it adds a heck of a lot of flavor. I have also made it with maple syrup aka Canadian gold, <laughs> Canadian maple syrup, but um, it's really nice with brown sugar. It gives it a real richness and depth of flavor. So I do like my coffee creamer sweetened. So I'm going to put a quarter cup of brown sugar in mine. So quarter cup of brown sugar in there. You want one teaspoon of cinnamon. Don't worry, I'm going to put the written recipe in the description link below, so just check that. But one teaspoon of cinnamon. A half teaspoon of ginger. Now an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves and salt. I couldn't find my eighth teaspoon measuring spoon, so I'm just going to do half of the quarter teaspoon of cloves. Now cloves are really strong, so be careful not to put too much. And the same of uh, nutmeg. And you want a little bit of salt. Salt may seem like a weird ingredient to put in a coffee creamer, but a touch, a pinch of salt in something sweet actually helps bring out the flavors and the sweetness. So I just put a pinch of salt in there. Not much, just enough to bring out the sweetness. And now you want a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And that is all the ingredients. So that's all you do. And now I'm going to blend it. And I'm going to blend it for quite a long time. I'm going to start it at 30 seconds and then I'm going to um, scrape down the sides to make sure that all the nuts are down in the liquid and then I'm going to let it blend for another minute or so until it's really nice and creamy. It's important to blend it well. Now if you don't have a high-speed blender like a Vitamix, a Blendtec, um, I think a Ninja would probably be considered a high-speed blender as well. You just have a regular blender at home. You probably want to blend it a little bit longer. But the longer you blend, the creamier the consistency will be and the nicer it'll be. We're, we're going to strain it through the nut milk bag to get out any pulp that hasn't blended, but the longer you blend it, the better. Now it'll warm up a little bit as you blend. Don't worry about that. Just really give it a good blend. So again, I'm just going to blend it for about 30 seconds, scrape down the sides and then continue to blend. All right.
right so it's blended and it's nice and creamy and frothy so now what we want to do is strain out any bits of the pulp that are still in here because that's the last thing you want in your coffee creamer so a nut milk bag is a super fine mesh bag that is used to make as the name implies nut milks it's super easy to find you can find it at health food stores or on Amazon they're not expensive so I'm just gonna put it over this uh, four cup measuring cup because that will hold it while I pour this in and this gets a little messy but that's okay because it's worth it because it will be yummy so just pour everything in there and then you basically just strain it you don't want to squeeze too fast because you don't want to push any of the pulp through the mesh but I just basically twist and that provides just enough pressure for it to squeeze out it's rather satisfying <laughs> if I do say so myself what you'll notice is especially if you have a high-speed blender is that the coffee creamer is warm again uh, don't worry about it um, it does just fine it's just the fact that the blender has bled blended at such a high speed now as you get to the bottom I wouldn't squeeze too tight at the very bottom because again you don't want to push the vet to pulp through the mesh and that's basically it my friends that's all you need to do what I'll normally do is let this cup sit in the fridge until the foam dies down a bit before I pour it into the container. I just have a leftover plastic container that I use for this. Um, but I'm just going to pour it in here right now just so that you can see how much it makes. And for me, because I have two cups of coffee every morning, and then I switch to decaffeinated herbal teas, this is the perfect amount of creamer. So this will last in the fridge all week. I often make it on a Saturday or Sunday and it lasts me up until the next Saturday or Sunday so a full week it stays fresh. I just give it a good shake before I um, use it. Again if you don't like it as sweet just don't put in that the brown sugar or just put in a tablespoon or two. Um, if you have a different sweetener that you like to use feel free to use that. Just know that if you use like a white sugar or um, a non-calorie sweetener it won't have the depth of flavor that a brown sugar does or like I say a dark maple syrup also works really well in this if you want to leave out the spices and just use a good quality vanilla and the brown sugar or maple syrup you have a French vanilla creamer um, I've made it with a couple of tablespoons of canned pumpkin not pumpkin pie filling but canned pumpkin and that also makes a nice pumpkin spice creamer just use pumpkin spice for the total of all of the spices that we've used today makes a great one the key is to strain it now if all you have is a fine mesh strainer it's even more important to soak your cashews I think it's worthwhile investing in the nut milk bag if you're going to make this on a regular basis having the nut milk bag um, is nice when you're making sauces that you don't want any bits in or um, when you're making creamers like this or obviously if you're making your own non-dairy milk and that's it i hope that was helpful it's not a long video but i got asked quite a bit if i would share the recipe and it's one of my favorite recipes and at least you know what's in it yes there's sugar in it because i like mine sweetened but i know how much and i control how much and there's no weird other ingredients um, i suppose the plant-based milk has some ingredients in it but you could uh, just use water as well if you don't want to use that but I do think that using a, a, a plant-based milk and oat milk or cashew milk gives it an extra level of creaminess which is after all the whole point of making your own coffee creamer <laughs> so that's it thanks guys uh, I hope you liked it and thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time